Hi, my name is Sandra and I want to use this video to tell you a bit more about who I am and how I got to where I am. I, has, I have always hated school, to be perfectly honest. In primary school we had a monster teacher who taped us to the chair if we were walking and taped over our mouths and back then it wasn't too strange and the parents said well, if she tapes your mouth up, if you talk, then just don't talk. So, we, I, since grade one, it was not the place for me. And also with having dyslexia, it was always the issue of being a little bit behind all the other kids, a little bit um, struggling with things that they all find easy. So, since grade one, all through school, I was kind of like, eh, I don't really want to be here. But on the other hand, I really enjoyed learning. So a lot of what um, we did, especially like school projects that we did in grade four, I still love and remember. So the learning I loved, the school I didn't like at all. Then I matriculated in Linden High School, because um, I am Afrikaans, if you can't hear it from my accent. <laughs> and then I had absolutely no idea what to do. School's done, now what? I've always been very jealous of people who have a plan, who can go, since they're little kids, this is what I want to do, and then they go do that, and it's nice and simple. For people like me, uh, it, it's a tough thing. What do I do now? So I went to study, but I literally in the line of um, registering for class, I picked my subject and decided, okay, I'm going to do psychology and then stood there going through the book going, what other subjects? Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? And then my other major was anthropology that I only figured out there in the line what anthropology is. Um, and I actually ended up enjoying it very, very much. Um, while I was studying, I worked as a tutor, like many university students do, and I found that I really have a, had a knack for it and, and enjoy helping the kids, especially those who struggle in school, like I did, and who don't like being in school, like I did. So, um, after school, I decided to move to Cape Town. Um, as a kid, we kind of moved up and down between Joburg and Cape Town, so I was like, yeah, let's go back there. Then I studied anthropology, so I did my anthropology honours through UNISA and tutored all the way through. Now, anthropology honours is done and there's really nothing much you can do with an anthropology honours degree. So then we get to the next point of, oops, now what? So. I continued and did my uh, postgrad education, the PGCE, also through UNISA, and because there's not a lot of meat to it, I, and as I said before, I love studying, so I also took up a couple of non-degree subjects, like I did geology and German and maths and Afrikaans, partly to have teaching subjects and partly just because I absolutely love learning. So. I ended up loving it so much that I actually did finish the PGCE and did two years of maths and completed my Afrikaans honors summer for fun. Then, um, so, but now the big thing is now I have to become a teacher. So with my PGCE practical that I was doing at a school in Cape Town, I just started realizing again, I really don't like school and I don't want to go back to school every single day for the rest of my life. This is, that's not what I want to do. Um, and at the same time, while teaching, you're doing a lovely lesson and here's a couple of girls at the front that understands and they're writing down and they're diligent. Those group there at the back, they're busy with something else. That kid there has ADD and there's nothing I can do about it because there's 50 of them. I'm exaggerating, probably about 40. And then um, marking tests, this one has dyslexia and he can't write at all. But somehow he's here, he's in grade 11 and this is just 
scraping through what is what is done and you've got so many things to juggle that you literally can't get through to helping them and at the same time there was an assault at the school where one of the learners attacked another and ended up in hospital and that just sealed the deal I'm not becoming a teacher that is just done but yeah, so what I did was I kept tutoring and I started working part-time at various homeschooling centers. So I worked at about three different homeschooling centers. I did private clients and I worked a little bit at UCT as well. And then I decided, okay, let's go back to Joburg. My family and friends are there. And then I opened Sandra's house. So we, it was in 2015 when me and my husband, he was also basically tutoring his way through and we moved back in with my parents and in their garage we decided let's start our own center. We don't want to work for other centers anymore, we can do this by ourselves. So we painted my dad's garage and started Sandra's house there. So we have kids coming in in the mornings that we help with homeschooling. Um, and they can come write their exams um, with us. And then in the afternoons, we help do lessons with kids from various schools in the area. And after COVID, we decided to do online lessons as well. So my passion is specifically helping the kids with dyslexia, because I have dyslexia too, and I know what a challenge that can be. And also the kids, who get those comments on their report that says, so-and-so is lazy, then I just want to go, forget it, I'll teach you, I'll, I'm your teacher now. <laughs> if the school says, this child is very difficult, then I'm like, oh, me, 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 I can help, I can help. <laughs> so the kids who don't fit in like I did, the kids who struggle like I did, those are the ones I like helping. Um, and if you ask me what's my favorite subject, it depends on my mood and on the day. I am, when I'm teaching Afrikaans, Afrikaans is my favorite subject, and maths, I absolutely love maths. Um, ge geography or um, geology, um, the, that combo of the weather and the rocks and the um, society, oh, a lot. And life science is one of my absolute favorite subjects. Then history, I mean, how can you even call yourself a person if you don't know your history? Where did we come from? Why is this happening? And then my absolute passion, which I will say about any subject, depending on the day, is art. So art is not just something I love teaching, but what I love doing as a hobby as well. So that's me. Um, another thing you should know about me is I don't edit videos. I have way too many interests and passions and things I like. Then, and video editing is not really one of them. And ugh, who's got the time? So what I say is what you get. Sometimes there's mistakes, sometimes there's a lot of, um, but that's me.